Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll install a remote starter in a cheap Wrangler 2020 together. Sorry about the video feed, it was in a public garage sadly, so I hope you can still hear it. The Klein RS JLLR1 remote start comes with installation guide and installation instructions. Um, tell us to download and install a software which is called Flash Link Manager. So they provide a link, I'll also put it down in the description, you need to download, open the software and log into with the credentials they provided, which I will not show here. The flash link manager looks like this. First of all, we have to take this panel out. And the second step will be taking the glove box out so we can get to the can that's right behind it. Just trim, remo trim removal tool and take this part out. So we'll see if it sticks the best. Now we can start. And there we go, it's nice. Oh, it works easy, easier than expected. So we have to work here on this side, try to unplug everything first, so we have more wiggle room as well as here, this one we can remove, there we are, and set it aside, and to make it easier, we also remove this lower part, because we might have, we'll need some excess for the cable routing. Take it out, screw somewhere. See if we can just, yep, it's all clipped in somewhere. So, there we go, perfect. Next, we'll take out the cloth box. This cloth box is all in place on the side. This is my hairy leg, of course. It's here, all in place. Down here, we have to put it up. This and then this part we have to push in, and then we can take out the cloth box. What we'll do next is taking the harness, new one, and you can see this white piece belongs to the cloth box and the canvas, and then we have those two cables, they belong into the key fob, which means over here. So we have to route it through here, all the way down here. And what we'll do, we'll start with those two and feed it into um, in the cloth box. Um, There's just one hole, so we'll have to put it in there. Put it in there, so it's okay. Somewhere it will come out. Just moving as far as you can. Get through it, and we can feed it through here. Let's see if we can get it already. We can get it already. Nice. So feed it all the way through. Done. So what I'm going to do just setting it over the place. Connect the control unit back in. I will also connect those cables together. So this one is the original 
cable, then we have the, the harness. It means we have to plug in the original cable in this extens extension, and now we have a new cable which goes into the key fob. Or the, not key fob, but into the key. There we go. Now we'll switch position. So for here we have a couple other cables. What we now need is this little box. We need to plug in all the cable, as well as the white cable. This cable belongs in here because it's a white plug. It goes in here. There are plenty of free spaces, so I'll try to hook it up with one of those. We'll do that last. The blue will go into the blue, obviously. Then we have a black one, which goes into black. It's a four pin, and this one's also four pin. Then, and then we have another white one, a seven pin, which goes in here. Now we have to plug in everything except the canvas, so we'll do that now. And I'll pick just one of the free ones. So I'll go in the back one because I hope to get it easy out if I need to, and it should click into. That's what it looks like at the moment. So we have the box here, and we have the canvas over there, green one, everything, everything's plugged in. What I'm now going to do is opening and closing the car door, the driver's side. Now let's press start two times. So we have a red flashing. The software component might be confusing a little bit, so um, I had to do it twice. Keep that in mind. Might be similar to in your case, I'm not sure. Um, might be just my inability to do it in the first place, but it worked out. So if you have any issues, just try another time and uh, you might be good to go. Thanks for watching. Tschüss. Oh, that's all. <coughs>